Well, good afternoon, and this is going to be the review on the Skiff Models T80, uh, 135th scale. And to start things out, uh, this particular model was a great build to get into. Uh, I'm not a very big fan of modern armor uh, for the sake of that I, I think that there isn't a ton of texture uh, with the modern armor. I think they're kind of bland looking in appearance and a little homogenized. Uh, but there is an exception uh, to a few of them and this uh, is certainly one of them. Uh, I do like the, the Russian modern armor design. Uh, they have very very neat looking lines and bristling features. It's just a very neat looking uh, design of tanks. Uh, with that being said, uh, picked this guy up for mm, probably under $30. Uh, my biggest complaint out of the box with it is that the resin plastic was white. Uh, it, I mean white, not tan, not pearl, not, you know, blue, white. So uh, the covering issues where most tanks tend to be either uh, gray, green, uh, sometimes even I've seen some some browns, uh, light blue. Uh, this this baby was was a white. Now if I was painting it white for some type of winter thing, it wouldn't be so bad. But uh, it's it's I didn't paint it white, and I don't plan on putting white on a Russian tank unless it's a very old tank like a T-34 or something to that effect but uh, without further ado uh, we'll move on to some other parts and that first of all is the box uh, this guy doesn't come with an English cover she is totally foreign Ukrainian Russian whatever this is uh, the manual didn't have any English on it either uh, one thing I will say about this particular skiff model though is that the instructions were just as great as the BMP3's instructions in that uh, every diagram of every part that you have to attach to it is well defined, it's put on there very well, uh, you just don't get a lot of issues with it. And with that we'll actually move to the model itself. Uh, I didn't put the mud flaps on. This is also a non-weathered. It's just right out of the factory. No dust, no grime, no mud, no nothing. She is very pristine in all regards. Just as if she came right out of the paint room. Uh, the finished product here turned out very well. You, you get to see a lot of detail. The mold has a great deal of detail in it, as you can probably make out. Uh, the decals came with three different sets of decals, one for uh, Ukrainian, one for Russian, and an Arab one. I wasn't aware that the Arabs used the T-80. Um, I know the Indian Army uses a few T-80s, but I wasn't aware of any Arab countries that, that did. But... Uh, she looks pretty good in her Eastern European paint scheme. Uh, th also, they did not point to a, a an actual paint scheme on this for what regiment or uh, armored division it was from. So this is just what they called for uh, in the manual. Eastern European green. Uh, on to the downsides. Number one downside is that the reactive armor that is on the turret, as well as the the, the 7.62 millimeter gun and all and the commander's cupola and stuff, uh, they were all flat pieces with no grooves, so you had to uh, make room for them and drill them out, uh, and then glue them together, and then somehow attach them to the turret themselves. Uh, definitely a challenge, not the greatest challenge, but 
nevertheless was uh, was definitely added to the challenging aspect of this model. Um, second challenge was the side skirts, just like on the BMP, did not match up at all to the chassis um, in the regard that they have some notched keys that sit right here that were supposed to let the side skirt just snap or not snap but sit on there uh, and provide some support uh, those were too far recessed into the mold and I cannot figure out for the life of me why they would design it that way um, but nevertheless uh, had to do some improvisation and trim the whole length of the uh, trim the whole length of the side skirt on the actual chassis to attach the side skirt to the chassis and actually with not too much frustration it, it, it went on pretty well. Uh, second downside the track is the vinyl rubber. Uh, I didn't put a lot of time into the track I hate working with the vinyl rubber ones. They, they, they're just kind of a finicky thing to work with. They're easy and they look okay once they're done, but uh, I'm not terribly thrilled about that on a model period. Um, but other than that, uh, it really turned out quite well. Second thing, or the, the last thing I'll talk about that I did not care for is the gun mount. There is no resistance between operating position and at 60 degrees of elevation. You're either at 60 or you're at zero. There's no in between and in my experience with most armor models you don't normally have to deal with it that way. It normally is anywhere in that radius of even negative 15 on the gun up to 60 degrees. Uh, so that I didn't really care for but it's not a big drawback but although uh, I, I do have a lot bad to say about this model uh, it really is probably one of the most solid built models I have uh, she can she is very well built and was pretty fun I love the finished product even more so than some of my other better built or better looking tanks because she is such a bruiser as far as overall look compared to a lot of other modern armor in my opinion. But with that being said, uh, I would challenge, this is a challenging model to undertake. This, any of the skiff models I have found out are a rather big challenge. So if you are looking for a good time, uh, this is the one for you. So overall difficulty of this model out of 10, I would rate it as an 8. Uh, on the fun scale, it was probably a 9 to 10 just because I love the finished product. She just turned out so nice. And This is also the last model I have that is not weathered at all. So everything after this will be in weathered condition or at least in light weathered condition. So, Well, thanks for watching. Uh, drop a comment or a rate if you like it and uh, have a good one. Thanks.